What's good, y'all? This is Joseph Banks for Run The Comics. Coming back with another haul video. Hope you dig it. Lots of books, so I don't want to get all in the way with semantics and other talk, but make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the video. Check out the other videos, other haul videos, other content videos dealing with comic and comic book culture, and also just nerd culture in general. I'm doing some more general blogs and videos to kind of whet your appetite while you're going in between these other haul videos and other channels that you're checking out but make sure and check out mine all right run the comics from now to infinity we're going to get it in bunch of books over here so let's check it out yeah. all right here's the haul let's check out what we got from a dot, lot of different um lcs's different places online which i got them i'm actually going to shoot out a um a page i'm going to throw up a little page that's going to show the different places that I've caught these books from. I want you to check out these places if you're in the Atlanta area or you're online. Now let's get to it. First, we have Incredible Hulk 39. I love this run. This is where the covers were done by um, Curry Andrews. So, really dope. Here's 41. The first uh, <laughs> cereal box type of cover <laughs> before John um, John Tyler um, Christopher has been doing them. Well, not on um, John Tyler Christopher before um, um, Nakayama. David Nak Nakayama was knocking them out. Dope. Some more of the Hulk. Incredible Hulk. This is 42. Get a shot out of the way. Here we go, we have Tales of the Green Lantern Corps. This is Ion, number one. Continuing on with Green Lantern, we got the Green Lantern Corps. This is number 221. I've been collecting these Witchblades. Speaking of John Tyler Christopher, these were the John Tyler Christopher covers. I am collecting these. And this is Witchblade number 168. And here we have a Witchblade number 86, illustrated by Adam Hughes. Turn it this way, there you go. Here we're getting to Canto, which I got this at my LCS, which I do have a subscription to. So it's Canto 2, this is number four, great story. I believe the number five, which should be on my LCS right now, is the last in this particular arc, which is the second arc for Kanto. We have a book which I have been collecting. I collected on Jupiter's Legacy 2. This is from Jupiter's Legacy. This is number one, illustrated by Frank Whiteley, written by Mark Millar. Love Frank Whiteley's um, illustrations. This one, when I heard about this, I definitely pre-ordered this because I wanted this book. And that's for Venom with the aliens, since aliens now with Marvel. This is that Venom Aliens cover. That is just so dope. Had to get that by um, Ryan Brown. And this is the finality of the Dark Knight's Death Metal, that foil cover by Capullo. This is Dark Knight's Death Metal number seven. I'm actually rereading the whole um, storyline with Dark Knight's Death Metal. I'm on the Trinity Crisis right now. I'm just trying to read up to get all of this and then I'm going to go into Future State. I'm just rereading the whole Dark Knight Death Metal just to try and make sense of it all. <laughs> and here we go. These next two is the Deceased Dead Planet number seven. This is the end finality of this storyline, which I think it ended very well. I actually liked this. This is the Matina cover. I actually liked it. It was really. It was a really good ending. I, I, I put it like that. It's a very good story ending. And this is the other version. This is the um, movie poster version by Ben Oliver. Ben Oliver and Ryan Brown are two of my favorite comic artists. I'm doing a spotlight on them. The ever popular Something Is Killing the Children. This is number 13. Man, I am still. I am trying to find number one first print without breaking the bank and that is so difficult at least I do have the foil cover I actually have four of them thanks four foil covers for number one here we have one of my favorite series of 2020 
Once in Future. This is number 15. Dan Mora cover. Dan Mora, another one of my favorite artists. Really dope. Another, oh man, I, I love this series. And I bl believe there's one more book and then it's the end of the series. I think it's not just the end of the, um, the second or I think it's the third arc. I think they're ending the series in the next issue, number 17. But this is number 16 for Seven to Eternity, one of my favorite books. Another dope artist, which I love, Jerome Pena. Love his work. Seven to Eternity, number 16, almost to the end. Speaking of the Dark Knights, and if this stack is not in order, <laughs> I think I have an order of all of um, the, the, the places that I've gotten books. So all of these are from my LCS right here, my usual LCS, um, my parents' basement. And this is Dark Knight's um, Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Dark Knight's Metal. That's their version. These are some thick books. This, one thing good about this, almost like a graphic novel, it's gonna take you a while to read them. And another thick one, which is part of Generations Shattered, number one, which is taking some heroes from other timelines and multiverses, and they're trying to fight a foe. Then you're gonna come on to part two, but this is part one, Generation Shattered number one. I forgot who the artist of this one is. Really dope. I got this from cover alone, but it's about this winter special they had this past winter. About the winter is coming, about the some king, winter king or something. This is Black Adam in this winter, yeah, in this winter special one. As we know, The Rock will be playing the Black Adam. Really do to have that. Another favorite um, story that came out of Image was Sea of Stars. Love this book. About a father and son, father trying to find his son lost in, the, in space. This is number eight. It's a dope story. I think this is ending also. A story which I was into, but then I got out of, but I'm back into because of the story. It's really captivating. And it's Seven Secrets, this is number six. Which is really dope. And this is number, I believe this is two or three. This is the Virgin Variant, let me look real quick. By Jenny Frizen, of course, was the kind of go-to artist, still is. But she was like the golden girl before Peach Momoka. No, it's number four, actually. Peach, um, number four, Virgin Variant, by Jenny Frizen. Still a dope artist, still love her work. Even though Peter Mocha's getting all the talk, she is dope. And one of my favorite artists, of all of them, Alex Ross, for Eternals number one. Read the story, really cool, getting back in touch with the characters for the Eternals. Um, don't know if I will continue the run, I may. I may get number two, see how it goes, but it's actually a good, good read. I'm more into DC books than in Marvel. DC, DC gang stand up. <laughs> I saw this book and I copped it. Um, like I said, these were at my LCS. Um, because I think I had it, I had um, on my wish list. This is from Image, written by Mark Millar, illustrated by Garan Parloff. This is Starlight number one. I wanna read this, really interesting, and I, I, I wanna check out this story. But one which I did check out, because he's one of, he's a, a cool character. I love this, I don't say love, but I really like this character a Batman type character that I think is being underused. I would like to see him used more. Um, and that is Supreme Power Starhawk, no, Nighthawk, I mean. Really dope cover. And uh, this is one of six, the Max series, so there's extra stuff in it, parental advisory. And I got these books already, but the main reason why I got these Pits, I love Pit. Pit's one of my favorite characters in comics. I wish I'd bring him back in some kind of way. But these are Pit number one, Newsstand. So I have Pit number one and Pit number two, Newsstand. I was looking for these. I have a bunch of Pits. I think I have like eight or seven of both one and two, but I don't have no Newsstand. So this is my, so I finally have a Newsstand for Pit number one and number two. And actually I got these at my Honey Spot online. It's an online vendor, which I will be doing a video on places outside of eBay to get books. And I found Pitt there. Actually, the, the Starlight and um, Nighthawk. This is from my vendor, my online vendor, which I found found 
and I am now starting to find spots at. Because a lot of people don't want to go on eBay because of the fees and different things like that. With the Milestone Universe, this is Icon number 22 featuring Rocket, which Milestone will be coming back this year and next year. Bringing back their heroes, hardware, Icon, Static Shock. I believe they're going to do the um, some of the other characters too from the Milestone Universe. But this is number 22. Even have them on here. Hardware, Static, DMZ, plus some other guys. That's um has Rocket on the cover right there. So be interested to see what's um, Milestone and DC do now. This is my 20, 52. I've been collecting these 52. The 52. Um, it's not. It kind of almost like a crisis event. <laughs> but this is number 20. Boost the gold on the front. 21. Forty-seven, forty-nine. The metal men on there. And here's fifty. So I think I'm a little over halfway. There's fifty-two books. I think I'm a little bit over halfway for those books. Really dope. We have here Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Green Arrow number three. I think it was a six, seven-part series. I have, uh, this is number three, I have, I think, half of them. So I have one, two, three. Really cool, Black Canary. Back on my Green Lantern. is Green Lantern number 165. Actually, these were at my online spot. Non-Ebay. Real dope with uh, Jon Stewart and Green Arrow. Pretty dope. These, I gotta give a shout out to Stranger Comics we got to give much love to our independent comic companies because they've been really putting in a lot of work during this pandemic, especially these content creators have been putting out some work even before then, but really getting a lot of love now. And I want to shout out um, uh, Sebastian Jones and the whole Stranger Comics team. Check them out, strangercomics.com. And I got this book, which I was really trying to get. This is The Untamed, A Sinner's Prayer. This is the foil version. Really dope, look at that. This was from the first volume. He has these three volumes. Sinner's Prayer, Still a Fool, and there's another one, which I can't remember the name, which I have it in here, so you'll see, we'll see it later. This is number one for Sinner's Prayer. This is, so this is a reprinting of number one with the foil on it. And I got some free ones from them because I bought that one, <laughs> which it was a, it was a thing they had on there on their website which I was so happy so here is Niobe she is deaf this is number two variant signed Niobe and all of um the Asuna Asunda um world is going to be has been optioned by HBO so you should check these books out they're really going for some price now so that's number number two here we have a beautiful book I gotta look at Open that because it's a virgin variant. I believe this is, um, let's take it out real quick. This autograph, this is Untamed, Still a Fool. This is Still a Fool. I believe this is number one. So, Still a Fool is the, the third volume for the Untamed. And look at this, this is a beautiful virgin variant autographed Niobe and the Stranger. I forgot his name. That's beautiful. It looks like a photograph, but it's actually illustrated. And here is the Untamed again, Killing Floor. That's the other one. Killing Floor is the second volume with Niobe. And this is number Killing Floor number four, issue number four. Really dope. And lastly, Dusu, Path of the Ancient, issue number one. This is the Class of a version. And I remember when seeing um, Stranger Comics on, on Instagram posting at the cons from the, of years past, this guy would be there posing as Dusu or um, having cosplay as Dusu. So really dope. So this is Dusu number one. Cool, let's keep on. Here we got another haul. This is from eBay. 
Part of the 52, here's week 22, so it's number 22. Pretty dope. And this right here, complete, I thought I had completed the steel run, but it's actually one book I was missing, and that was this one actually. And that's in number 11. So steel number 11. So I have the entire steel run. Really dope. This, I have this whole run of Voodoo um, from New 52, but this is the second printing for Voodoo, number one. I have the first and second printing now. Just part of a number of teams in DC and Wildstorm. Let's get into some Green Lantern books. We have Green Lantern 154. There we go. 156, John Stewart. Everybody's waiting him to be on uh, on TV. We have the Green Lantern Annual number seven. And now we're gonna get into some independent books. Saw this on Indie Planet, and these are some African American uh, heroes, part of the Powerverse, which they put out, which was like a shared um, universe between different independent artists. And this one's called Blackout, number one, for the Powerverse. Very good, nice, there we go. And my dude, who I've been following for a number of years, I finally got the remaining books in his Master of the Edge um, comic, and written and illustrated by Mike Lancet. I'm gonna give him a shout out, because this was on M Indie Planet also. I have issue number one. I have two issues on number one, but here is chapter two. Chapter three. And chapter four. It was a four issue series. Really dope. Look him up. He's on Facebook also and Instagram. Mike Lancet. What's up, man? This was a big <laughs> talk at one point. Haven't heard much about it yet, but I picked it up. It's kind of a, I guess another universe in image done by Robert Kirkham and Ryan Otley. It's called Solid Blood. It's Solid Blood number 17. The only book they put out, but it has connections to image universe, the current runs. Even Michonne is in here in a kind of a interesting way. So this is very, very interesting. The whole book, it's all, even the, the letters section is a play, is, is, a, is a parody or some type of metaphor. So it's, it's very interesting about Solid Blood. I wonder going to do any, even the ads in here. <laughs> so I wonder if they're going to do anything else with this. This is kind of something which kind of was thrown out, took people off guard last year and I was able to get one. So Solid Blood number 17. Back to those Green Lanterns. This is the next, the, we'll call the penultimate issue for Green Lanterns um, with Simon Baz and Jessica. And it is Green Lanterns 56, that foil. Lots of foil in this in this run. You see a lot of foil books. But that's really dope. And we're coming back to Stranger Comics, which I talked about earlier. I found some books to kind of take care of some runs of uh, characters, which they had books for, which I'm following they really fine. Uh, this is Erethun number two. I had Erethun number one, but I found Erethun number two, which is, I forgot his name, he was like the, the dwarf character, Niobe, and the stranger character teaming up. Erethun number two. Here's that Untamed again. It's the killing floor. This is number one. The Burton cover, um, the Burgeting cover. But we also have Untamed Killing Floor number one, the J. Lee cover. And I have all, I have the entire J. Lee run of the Untamed Killing Floor. This is number one. Number two, beautiful cover, Niobe. Check that out. Number three. And lastly, the Untamed Killing Floor number four. That's the entire third volume. And speaking of that, here's Untamed Sinner's Prayer. 
I was able to get this on their website. And this is uh, number two, and it was autographed. Really dope. So I have the killer, I have Sinner's Prayer number one and two. I want to get the whole entire run of that one. Here is Erethune number three, but it is a virgin variant. Really dope. There's an A cover to this, which I want to get. So that's Erethune number three, virgin variant. And Naobi, she is deaf. Number one, and I, this is the um, the A cover. I have, I think, another cover, but I, this is the A cover I've been trying to get, so I have that. Now I need Niobe She Is Life. This is She Is Death, number one. I need Niobe She Is Life, number one A cover. So, looking for that one. Really dope. Next up, this is a book which I ordered on, on eBay and could not, and my order had not come in. It's actually on the way now, but I was able to find this at, um, my LCS, another one of my LCSs, for I think, uh, I think I found this for a quarter. But I needed two more books to complete Tom Strong's Terrific Tales, which Tom Strong is becoming one of my favorite characters in comics. Outside of Green Lantern, I'm really liking Tom Strong and also the Terrifics. The Terrifics for DC is how I found out about Tom Strong, didn't even really know about the character until the Terrifics, and then I found this huge history that Tom Strong um, had with America's Best Comics. So this is issue number seven. And uh, my book is in the, that, and I have a number seven and number 11 to complete that run in the mail. Now, here's another pit number two. Anytime I see pits, I grab them, especially those early issues. Early ones and late issues. That's number two. I was able to find this. I already had this, but this is the um, A cover. I have another, book, I think I have a B or C cover of XO Man of War number one for Valiant Comics. That's really dope. I believe this is Rod, yes, Rod Rice. Illustrated. Really dope. Only reason why I picked up this is because in Future State, Lex Luthor, if you see, you've been reading through the Dark Knights, Death Metal, and how Lex Luthor, his progression, he's in a lot of shine. So I saw this book and I said, let me grab this. Because in the previous um, run, there's a Superman book I had with a, a Lex Luthor for president or Lex Luthor, yeah, Lex Luthor 2000 president something button on the Superman cape from my last haul, previous haul. But this one is Superman Lex 2000 number one. So I picked up this because everything's going on with Lex Luthor and he's, having, he's a charge of a planner. He's a king of a planner or something like that. So I thought so I would get some Lex Luthor books. So. Now I need to find the first, um, I guess the, the grail would be finding the first appearance of Lex Luthor in comics. That would be a, a grail. Some more Green Lantern goodness. This is with Hal Jordan being a Spectre. This is Green Lantern number 119. With Kyle Rayner. A book I've been seeing, wanted to get before, but I finally got it. It is Superman 680. Beautiful Alex Ross cover with crypto on the cover. Let me try and get a good crypto on the cover. Really dope. Superman's dog. Got this book because I'm trying to collect the Millennial Giants connecting covers. It's a nine book collecting covers. And this is Superman Man of Steel 78. We had the Superman red and blue. The weird time in comics. <laughs> What was this? In the 90s? Late 90s? Trying to do something new with Superman. Saw so this book. Open this up. This is Guy Gardner Warrior number 29. Oh, let me get it right there. There you go. But the beautiful thing about this book, a real cool thing about this book, is that it opens up. You have all your heroes. <laughs> so, I thought that was really cool. So I grabbed that. I may grab some of those Guy Gardner Warrior books. I'm unsure though. And another book with America's Best, which stars Tom Strong, which I am getting into, is Promethea. And this is Promethea number nine. It has some of the dope covers, real artsy covers. 
Mickey number nine. Number 10. I thought I didn't have this book. I actually have this book. Number 10. And another book which I got. Last time I got this book, it was kind of scuffed up. But then when I looked in, I found more of this book. Satana number two. The first volume of Satana. But they were have all these scuff marks on the right. And I guess it's a printing error for those books. And so I just found the best one. Because the last one I had, it was really bad, mad. But this one's not too bad. You see a little bit scuffed up. But it's actually a pretty good condition book. So that's Satana number one. Oh, it's number two for the first volume. And back to my 52s. It's 52 week 34. And coming from that DC Wow milestone is one of the characters from, um, what was the name of the group? It was a gang, kind of a righteous gang. They're called Blood, Blood Syndicate. Blood Syndicate. He was one of the characters from there and he had his own little book that came out of that. And his wise son, the White Wolf, Milestone. This is number one. And that's Wise Son right up here by the logos. I have been a big collector of Justice for Marvel, part of the New Universe. And I'm trying to complete that run. Not a big, it's not on my top runs I'm trying to um, complete, but it's one I am trying to complete. This is Justice number 20. Really dope. And I have completed this run. These books are now from my LCS, another LCS, one is closest to me. It's not my main LCS, but it's the closest one to me, but I was able to find these books. Here is the, the final book, which I was really, well, well, no, I think I have this book. This is the A cover of Symmetry by uh, Rafael Ainko, illustrated by him. This was for Top Cow image and also symmetry which I did not have this one this one I was looking for this is um, symmetry number eight the black and white variant really dope so I have that entire run now I am collecting these these infin infinity warps and I finally found this one and it was for the twisting of Ghost Rider and Black Panther and here's Ghost Panther number one he has a Ghost Panther number two, two. I think it's just a two issue, like limited or mini series. So that's Ghost Panther number one. And I found another Adventures of the Super Sons book. This is number six. And I am so excited to hear that Super, that, um, Super Sons is coming back. There's gonna be another one, it's called The Chronicles of the Super Sons, or I forgot the name of it, but they're coming back. Um, Two comics, the Super Sons, because this was the the people loved the Damien and the John Kent when they were boys, and just how they react, um, interact with each other, and fighting crime as young youngsters. So they're bringing them back. So I'm very happy about that. But I'm trying to complete this Adventures in Super Sons since I have the original series, the entire original series. I am collecting these as I go along. That's number six. Another one I am collecting, but this one has a little bit of damage on it, so I may get. When I find a better copy, I'll get rid of this one. I didn't notice the damage when I first bought it, but that's how it is sometimes. You're, you're going by, you're looking through comics so fast, you miss out on things. It's Danger Girl number two. I have been collecting these. I'm almost finished with this, this run, but I gotta find a better book than this. And here we have Superman number 18, where he revealed himself, Clark Kent revealed himself as Superman. That's a major book. Even though no one talks about it, it will be, it is a major book. Uh, the next two books are from John Romita Jr. Illustrated. The cover is specifically, this is The Silencer, number four. The Silencer and uh, Deathstroke on the cover. And this book I saw, this is just a beautiful book. It's for The Century from John Romita Jr. It's a limited series, this is number one of eight. John Romita Jr. cover, really dope. People say they don't like his style. I really dig his style. Yeah, I have people who, of different styles doing comics. Everybody's not gonna be like this, which is an Adi Granoff book, <laughs> Annihilation Conquest Nova, number six, 
with Gamora on the cover. Everybody's not going to um, illustrate like this, the kind of hyper-realistic look. But I love um, John Romita Jr. and Adi Gradoff work. So another Nova book that I have of Adi Gradoff. Here we have Zatanna, part of Seven Soldiers. This is number three or four. I just got to get, actually I could have gotten a whole lot, but um, I didn't pull the trigger at the time, but I found number three while I was there at the at the comic shop. I have finally completed this run. I've cleared a lot of runs with this in this in this lot. This is Empress number seven from um, Icon, which I think is a subsidiary of um, is a subsidiary of Marvel, I believe. This Empress or Image number seven. Found this joint. I have the first cover A of number one. Well, this is cover A of number seven for Eternals. Neil Gaiman, illustrated by John Romita Jr. And Eternals. I just showed you Eternals number one of the newest series. This is series, I think, number three. Volume number three, I believe. Eternals. Cool. And now we're going to get into this future state. These are the books which. Uh, DC been putting out, so let's get into it. Future State, Justice League number one. And I'm gonna read these after I finish Dark Knight Death Metal. So this is number one, get right here. With the new Justice League. Here is Green Lantern number one. John Stewart. And we have Green Lantern number one, the uh, Jamal Campbell cover variant. We have Future State um, Next Batman number one. This is the Olivier Coypel cover. Pretty dope. It's the Next Batman number one with, um, I think his name is, um, I forgot the um, illustrator's name. I thought his name would be up here. I think it is. There's Next Batman number one. Here's the next Batman number two. Got both issues. We have the Mortal Wonder Woman number one. And then we have the new Wonder Woman number one for Future State. Already becoming a big star already. Everybody's looking forward to where that cover, um, that character's gonna go. And here we have Future State Wonder Woman number one. This is the Adam Hughes variant. We have Future State Dark Detective number one. With Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is in the Dark Detective books. And we have Future State Dark Detective number one. This is the art art germ cover which was originally going to be in a Wonder Woman book but they backed it out and put it for this since it was going to be in coinciding with um, Wonder Woman 1984 which has gotten a lot of good uh, bad press but it has a lot some good too so that's all the future state books that I have so far I'm getting those from um, an online um, retailer every month so those are my pre-orders and I also have these in pre-orders crossover number three illustrated by Todd McFarlane with Spawn, really dope book, I'm ready to get into this. And the Immortal Hulk, number 42, homage cover by Bennett. This is Hulk and Submariner, Tales to Astonish on its homage cover. That's really dope, beautiful. I put this, on, put this on Instagram already. People love this book. Cool. Now we get into this pile right here. And the, the half of this, is Grant Morrison's 18 Days, which is taking a lot of the Indian folklore, religion, and some of their beliefs, and making a comic from this. And it takes place during 18 days. It's not 18 books, though. So I was found looking for the variant covers. I already have a few of these. I'm looking for the variant covers for the books because I wasn't really a fan of the A covers, which are like these. This is like an A cover, which has the 18 days in a, in a block. Has image above and image below, which is kind of cool. This is number three, 
but I want the variance and you'll be seeing the variance after this one. So I have two of these actually in a lot with the A cover, the rest of my variance. This is 18 days number three. Here's number six. And excuse me, because a lot of them are not numbered when it comes to later um, printings or should I say later books, but I will let you know what those are. But this is number six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. I believe this is 12. It's 13. I believe this is 14. I believe these go straight up. 14. 15, 16, beautiful books, 17, 18, 19, And it was 26 issues. So I got the entire run for Grant Morrison's 18 days. I do want to get number three and number 13, which are cover A's. I do want to get the variants for those, but at least I have the entire run, all 26 books of Grant Morrison's 18 days. Here's a, another spot I found that sells comics. Like so on the next on the, my video, which I give a lot of spots where I buy comics at that are alternatives to eBay, I found this. It does have a little bit of a marking here. This is the hip hop cover for All New Inhumans, number one, hip hop variant. I, I this is not the first <laughs> this is not the first appearance, but it's a great. Um, Silver, I think Silver Age, 1979. Tales to Astonish, starring the Submariner number one. So that's dope. Like a fine issue. Pretty dope. And I saw this beautiful, I thought there was a Bushima cover, but I think Bushima, John Bushima does the interiors. But this cover is actually done by Mike Mignola of um, Hellboy fame. This is Incredible Hulk number 307. Look at that. That's dope. I'm doing some Mylar. Another dope one. Some early Green Lantern, volume one. This is number 125 of Green Lantern. With that Sinestro in the back. That is dope. You know, I'm a big Green Lantern fan, so you see a lot of Green Lantern books in this hall. And just finishing 18 days from Grant um, Morrison. Here's another Grant Morrison's 18 days. This is the this is Karna. Legend of the Sixth Sun, this was a one-shot which they put out. So I have the entire run plus the one-shot. Really dope. Grant Morrison's 18 Days. 
Now these books are books that I just got. These are the newest. And this is from, like I said, one of my spots outside of eBay to buy comics. This book I got strictly for cover alone. This is a beautiful cover. Um, Virgin variant for the Unkindness of Ravens. And this is the issue number four. Boom Studios. Boom Studios continues to do beautiful work, but look at that. That's just fine art in the form of a comic. The Unkindness of Ravens, number four. I heard this is a good story, though. I mean, check one um, issues one through three. Exo Man of War. I'm trying to fill this run. I'm almost done with this entire run. It's a big run itself. This is Exo Man of War number one. This is number eight, the pre-order edition. The ones that have the um, black outline with yellow letters are the pre-order editions. And it's another pre-order edition for number 10. I was able to find trees for Image Comics number two. I have number one, so I have number one and two for trees. Interesting story. And I finally found this. Emerald Dawn, which I actually had this. This was actually in the bag with the one I was looking for. The one I ordered is the one I was missing to complete this run. This is the original Emerald, Emerald Dawn mini series. Only went like five, six issues. I had Emerald Dawn 2, but now I have Emerald Dawn issues number two, which I was looking for. This one right here, I already had number one, so now I have two number ones and issue number two. So I have the entire run for Emerald Dawn, Green Lantern. Really dope. Speaking of Green Lantern, here's one of the early Green Lantern core books, which was during the Green Lantern Volume 2 run, and it's Green Lantern Core number 206, Kilowog vs. Black Hand. That is dope. Some more Green Lantern love. This is Green Lantern number 6, Mosaic Storyline. Story Number six, 16, 17, 21, and 60. Guy Gardner Warrior, Kyle, Lynn, Kyle Rayner. And this right here, this is Is Isola. Or Image Comics, I believe this is number, another number four, I believe. No, it's actually number two. This is cover A for number two. This is Sola, beautiful covers. This is a horror movie poster homage. This is the great, um, Ben Fisher's The Great Divide for Dynamite Comics, number one. That's that uh, Nightmare on Elm Street poster homage. And another homage, this book came out last year, got a lot of horror, horror comics, got a lot of love last year. And this is The Plot on Vault Comics. This is, I think a mystery, something mystery um, homage, which is like the first Swamp King homage. There you go. The plot, number one. Found the Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. I may try and get this run. I do have about between five or six books in this run. This is number 19. It's the first appearance of Girl Moon. Who's right there, who I... First appearance. And now another series which I've been getting into, which is really dope. It's called Rose for Image Comics. It's a David Finch cover. It's a um, variant for Rose 1. Here's Rose 2, that um, Spawn variant. Here's Rose number 3. Here's a wraparound cover for Rose 4. Turn this way. Oh, it's shine. 
Here's rose five. Here's rows seven. Here's rows nine. This is a beautiful cover right here. It's rows ten. Had a fantasy novel cover look. And speaking of Jay Lee, which you saw back with Niobe, here's Jay Lee's cover for rows thirteen. poster about the future state of the future state of DC Comics. People saying DC's gonna go out of business and all this other stuff. I don't believe so. I think they're actually making some good moves. Now, you got some more Niobe books. Here's that Dusu, which I mentioned earlier. This is issue number four. So I have issue number one, that cosplay. This is issue number four. This is the first cover. Here's another independent artists or artists that I need to talk about for the Tuskegee Airs books. We have um, Williams and Burnham, Greg Burnham and uh, uh, Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams is the illustrator. Greg Burnham is the writer. They both are co-creators of Tuskegee Airs, which is like a futuristic take on the Tuskegee Airmen. And this is their variant for issue number two, which they just recently put out. They had a full color and they had a sepia tone cover. And I just did the full cover for Tuskegee Airs number two. And on the back of the book, they give information about these individuals who were a part, who were a part of, um, not just Tuskegee Airs, but a part of air, um, aircraft, air flying, just African-Americans who are part of the flying and, and airlines industry or the, um, the bringing together, man, my word's not coming out. <laughs> the whole um, a part of uh, aeronaut, aeronautics and African-Americans who was a part of that. And they have like an explanation of those characters on the back. So that's number two, Tuskegee Airs. Check out the books, they have four issues so far. Fifth issue will be coming up this year, I believe. We're in a Kickstarter, so check that out when they come about. Tuskegee Airs. And these books right here were from uh, when my eBay connects. And I'm trying to collect all these John Middleton Aquaman. And this one did not have Aquaman number 48. Dope. And back to Niobe. This is She is Deaf. And I showed you um, She is Deaf, um, another cover, which I said was the A cover. This is the actual A cover for She is Deaf, number one. Then we have Dusu number two. And Dusu number three. So I have the entire run for Dusu and the entire run for Niobe She is Life, Niobe She is Deaf. And also, make sure it wasn't back here. I also had an entire run for Erethun, and I have an entire run for um, uh, the Untamed, Killing Floor, and the Untamed, um, well, not Sinner's Prayer. I only have two books of Sinner's Prayer, and the other one. I forgot the other one. Um, I'm still a fool. That one has just started. That that particular volume for volume three and I have the first book for that so these are some books which I had to pick up because I do was trying I'm trying to get this little lot which is talking about Brainiac's son or Brainiac 2 I don't know it's Brainiac 2 with Brainiac 3 but he was the leader of the rebels so here is DC's rebels number two number three Number four. Number five. Number six. I am missing number one. And a few other ones in the middle. Number 12. Thirteen.
Yeah, that's The Rebels. <laughs> and this was one of the free books, but I got it because it's actually have some behind the scenes of The Eternals, which has just been released. And that's The Eternals, Never Die, Never Win. This little free book that was on the rack. Let's get more of these 52s. Got some more 52s. We have week 13. Week 15. This logo cover of week 17. I am almost done with that 52. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. And here is a Seven Secrets number three variant. There's a secret one that does not have this um, uh, um, onomatopoeia of whoosh in, which I thought this was the one, this was the secret one, but it's the one that does not have the words in the back. This is number three variant. Saw that, grabbed it. From the future state of DC, this was Wonder Woman number two. I actually have number two coming in the mail, but I did not order this one, which is the Jenny Frizen cover for Wonder Woman number two with the new Wonder Woman. This is a book which I heard about, and I got this because it is an homage also. This is I Walk With Monsters, number one. This is a variant. Here is a good series. Another one of those horror series. So I'm gonna check it out. I thought this, this was part of my run, um, part of my LCS pool. They said, said they had, uh, they had run out and not have any more of these. So I found it and bought it. But now LCS said they got some more. In. <laughs> so that may be in my pool for next time I go there, but I'm, I already have it, so I'm not gonna buy it again. And it's for the Green Lantern season number two. This is the penultimate issue. It's number 11. It's a 12 issue run of all the lanterns, all of them, even from Far Sector. You got Joe from Far Sector. It has the new one from the um, the, the, the Young Justice um, lantern. It has uh, the main one, Stuart, Rayner, Guy Gardner. It has the Green Lanterns, have Simon Baz and Jessica Cruz. It has even some from other issues sprinkled in there. The first Green Lantern, which I forget his name right now. So this is really dope. Of course, Hal Jordan's center. The greatest lantern of all. The greatest lantern of all. Yes, yes. This book I've been, I found online because I've been collecting, I showed you another one, The Eternals. This is a variant edition. This is number four for The Eternals. But it's the John Meter Jr. cover. And I was able to find this. And I'm only missing one of the John Reader Jr. variants. And that's Eternals number four. I think I'm missing number two, I believe. Two or three. And lastly, I just got this book yesterday. Punchline number one special. This is the David Nakayama cover. Really dope. I was able to find that joint. So I am happy. Put that right there. So I hope that uh, you like this little run of mine. <laughs> mega haul, upon mega hauls. Um, I only do these things like, maybe like once a month. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Am I in focus? Am I in focus? It's all right. But this is Joseph for Run The Comics. Definitely like, share, and subscribe to this video. And check out for the next videos. Gonna try and do more content, which I know I say every video, but I'm really trying to do it, but I've been, been very, very busy. So it's easier to just do a haul video to just show all the books and then Go and find some boxes to put all these books in. But for Run the Comics, like I said, this is Joseph Banks, and I'm out. Grace and peace. Yeah!